everybody, welcome to Leap Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And that look was that I realized I hadn't looked up this wine at all. So we're just going to wing it. We'll see what it's all about. All right. So um, what we have here is the 2008 Fazzi Battaglia uh, Verdicchio dei Castelli di JC or JC. Um, this is from the Classico region of that, and bought it for $10.14 at Specs. Kind of the cool bottle, and we got the little Fossi on there. All right, we're going to... Oh, Fizzantino. Rinse out the turkey wines, because as you can probably tell, I'm recording all this the same day. I don't know if you can tell. Can you see it? I don't know. It's kind of neat. A little bubble action. All right, so um, if you watch Sommelier School, and uh, this week, then you saw that uh, we were doing Central Italy, and this wine comes from the Eastern Central region of Italy. Um, let's see if there's anything really special about this other than what's on the labels. Nope, 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 nope. <clears throat> Forgot to see if there was anything special about the winery. But let's open up the little scroll here and if you can get it to, there we go. Let's see what the scroll says. Oh, how cool is that? Get a little map. Uh, great time, my wine, trying to go to native grape. There's really nothing there other than just a bunch of marketing stuff, but the map is a great little, um, that's a great little thing so you can see where it comes from. I'm going to take a picture of that one a little bit. Maybe I can superimpose it. Anyway, like right here on my face. All right, so um, Verdicchio. It's a native grape to the region. And uh, it usually is producing a dry white wine. So uh, there's a little bit of fizz to it, or frizzantino or frizzante, as they will say in Italian. Getting some tropical, a little bit of tropical. Um, Maybe like a, maybe like a nectarine type of aroma to it. And that's about it. I mean, it's not unpleasant. some nasty juice in there once I'm done. I don't know. I find it kind of uninspiring. Very little acid. Um, not much of the flavor profile at all. Like, it, it's very watery. It will probably benefit from chilling, um, being really chilled. It would probably do better with food, but I don't really, I think the food would overpower it. I think it would just be more like, like just something to wash the food down rather than something to complement food or to pair with food. Yeah, not so much. I think I'm going to give this um, 
I really don't want to do it that low, but 75. I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling it at all. I mean, we'll drink it. I mean, what we're having for dinner tonight, it might work out. Doubt it. But anyway, one thing that was kind of neat about it was it has like a little pull tab thing to like get the foil off. Because it really isn't, if you've ever, when you open wine bottles, you're supposed to take the foil cutter and put it like right underneath the lip, the bottom part there. Well, that would involve going way down here and the way this is all set up, not really convenient to do that. So I think that's why they put that little thing to pull it out and whatever. Probably should have spent more effort on the wine. I mean, I'm not saying it's horrible, but for 10 bucks? I mean, I did buy it kind of because the bottle was kind of cool. Yeah, <clears throat> not so much on that. Anyway, um... Hopefully you all had a great Thanksgiving, those of you that are in the States, and um, hopefully the wines that you had were wonderful, hopefully they were better than this, and um, we will have another wine on Monday, As a matter of fact, I'll give you the preview of it, another wine from the uh, eastern central part of Italy, and hopefully that will be much better than this one. Um, other than that, uh, as always, you know, friend me up. Let people know what's going on. Uh, there's links to all over the place. You can buy some stuff, buy some wine from other places. Uh, donate. We've got the donation button over here to the right, to your right. Um, and, uh, you know, follow me on Twitter. You can download the podcast. Oh, that's one thing. A uh, couple things. The um, uh, episode from last week. The sharing wines, sharing wine with new friends, or sharing some wine with new friends. That that episode, the originally the audio was not very good. After about two minutes, it gets in like a broken record type thing. Uh, that's been fixed. So, go and watch it. Um, see that thing, and then there was one other thing I want to talk about before I said blah blah. Um. What was the other thing? Real quick, I'm trying to think. That episode, tweet me. Oh, podcast. Um, podcast. Now, uh, if you're watching on the computer or watching through your Xbox three Xbox 360, uh, there's no issues, at least as far as I know, because I've watched them. Not all of them, but I've watched them, so everything should be fine. But apparently on the iPhone, uh, even though the file should be the right file type, uh, apparently it's not to view on an iPhone. Now while you can do a conversion, it doesn't keep it in the podcast. It doesn't put it in the podcast listing. It makes it a movie. So um, I'm working on over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to try to make it so it goes back to being uh, compatible to the iPhone. The first 37 episodes were iPhone compatible, but I found that the quality was lacking in the, uh, in the video and how it looked. It wasn't smooth. Uh, the video quality itself wasn't as good, so I, I played with the video, never realizing that it screwed up, it broke the compatibility with an iPhone. So I know I have people out there that like to watch their stuff on the iPhone. I do. I, I've done it plenty of times. I've, I've hooked the iPhone up to the TV to watch some, uh, some movies and podcasts. So um, if it's not iPhone compatible to begin with, it's kind of a hassle for me to go, well, just convert it. So um, for now, just convert it. No, I'm not, I don't want to be like you know, a jerk about it. But for now, you'll have to convert it until I can get uh, the future episodes. I'm not going to go back and redo 40 episodes or 50 ep or 60 episodes at this point. Almost 60. I'm not going to redo all those. So, yeah, you would have to convert that to be iPhone compatible. But hopefully, within the next couple episodes, two or three episodes, I should have that little bit nailed down. Maybe even by this episode. Not doubt by this one. Anyway, um... Uh, that's going to be it. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Have a great uh, rest of the weekend. Hook 'em horns. I know we. I know we had to have won. I'm recording all set of time, so I know we had to have won yesterday. Probably trounced the Aggies, and we're just waiting to play Florida or Alabama. It's going to be it. See everyone again next time.